introduce yourself? You yeah. can call yourself the Master Chef ah, for the first time if you want. I'm, but, well, I, I've never said it. I'm New Zealand's 2022 Master Chef. Winner. Oh my lord. Hi, it's Sam Lowe. I am the 2022 New Zealand Master Chef winner. And I'm with Emily. And we're going to make my version of the classic Cantonese yum cha prawn toast. So, Sam, this is the first time you've been able to talk about winning Master Chef. Yeah. How does, does it feel real to you? Oh, honestly, it's like coming out of the closet again. <laughs> um, at the moment, I'm just so happy that I won by staying true to myself and cooking my food. So, Sam, you didn't think that you were going to win? No, I genuinely didn't think I was going to win this competition. Do, I, do you feel like you went in it to win? No. I went in the competition to tell my story and to highlight my food and talk about migrant communities and their cuisine and how we should celebrate them on mainstream media. When did you start to think, I'm doing pretty well here, maybe I can go all the way? When I've when I started winning a few challenges in the competition where I was cooking Chinese food, like I think the first memory, and I still think about it, is when I made the hoi sam sauce and mm -hmm. I was using chocolate, but then I was also making very traditional Chinese food. So combining the two, I was just like, well, that is typically how I cook. I'm utilizing what's around me all the time and I am cooking something that I'm really familiar with. So. I was like, hang on, like this is being celebrated, so maybe I do have a shot here. The shells actually have the most flavor out of the entire prawn, and especially the head. Um, you can use them for like stocks or oils, so I'm gonna turn this into oil. Just a little bit of canola oil, salt, and that to be fried, and it'll create a really aromatic. We really, this is like head to toe prawn eating, nose yeah. to toe. <laughs> yeah. This is the best part. I like it. On day one, or say when you got to the top 16, when you looked around the room, who did you clock as your competition? Like, who was going to be the person that you were going to have to get past to win this? Honestly, it, like, yeah, it would be myself as being the person that was my biggest competition, as in just trying to build that confidence and really believing in my own cooking abilities and my own food. Um, until Elegant Elliot started winning almost every competition, then I was like, okay, he is the one to watch out for. To bind it, I'm going to use an egg white. Salt. Some sugar. Some white pepper. Some cornstarch. And sesame oil. And then now, we basically mix it until it gets thick and forms a paste. What is the best memory you're going to take away? from MasterChef? The opportunity, like, you know, how many people in the world can say they cooked a Monique Fiso, Michael Meredith, Sid Sarawat dish, you know, um, gutted a titi bird, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just, like, it's all these little things that I think if you put on a list on a piece of paper, like, it's like, it's not something that you can just achieve ever, right? So I think the opportunity was incredible. Being able to meet um, the judges, uh, Having Vaughn literally, you know, worked in three Michelin star restaurants, just watching you make my version of Chinese food, like, <laughs> you know, that's like beyond. I'm just gonna make a quick mayonnaise. Um, a few days ago, I made my own Chinese version of a kimchi. So it's like fermented bean curd, garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, um, and classic Japanese mayo. Chop it up and then mix it together. So I'm just popping the mayo so that I can pop pipes and dots on the toast. You can take the boy out of Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still gonna pipe his mayo. <laughs> so I've just fried the prawn toast at um, 170 degrees in canola oil, so something neutral. Um, three minutes on the prawn side and one minute on the bread side. Um, then I've piped the Chinese fermented cabbage mayonnaise on it, drizzled some prawn oil and then garnished with coriander. So there's going to be a cookbook soon? Yes, cookbook soon on my bucket list for many, many, many years. And the fact that it's coming to a reality is amazing. Um, kind of nerve wracking, but I think uh, I have quite a solid idea of, of what I want it to be. That's delicious. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. <laughs>